Please excuse a short advertisement before I proceed. I am offering an audio course in conservation biology. Details are at the link in the description immediately beneath this video. I continue to receive abundant positive feedback about the course. As usual, links to the other articles I mentioned in this video are included in the attendant blog post at GuyMcPherson.com. American poet Henry Charles Bukowski is credited with the line, quote, find what you love and let it kill you, end quote. After extensive research conducted by other scholars, there remains no evidence Charles Bukowski ever wrote this line. I continue to follow this advice, regardless of who wrote or said it. I continue my long-time path as science educator, in the spirit of Carl Sagan, even recognizing that doing so has destroyed my public life. I have found what I love, and it's killing me. What do I love? Teaching, of course. Specifically, I love following the singular path of science education. I love collating and summarizing the evidence underlying abrupt, irre irreversible climate change. Obviously, I do not love the conclusion that points to our near-term demise. Regardless of the outcome, however, I have assumed the role of science educator because I can't seem to help myself. Teaching is not merely what I do. A teacher is who I am. Among the many contributors to abrupt, irreversible climate change I have been pointing out for more than a decade is atmospheric methane. I have been criticized by Michael Mann and other so-called climate scientists who claim that the abrupt release of methane could not possibly lead to rapid planetary warming. Let's turn to the evidence. First, though, I'll mention that I receive a lot of criticism for not doing primary research, as I did for two decades. Because I have limited access to university infrastructure, I conduct secondary research, relying on the primary research conducted by other scholars to reach my own conclusions. It's a lot like the McPherson paradox. I'm damned if I do, and damned if I don't. And now, back to the evidence discovered by other scholars. A peer-reviewed paper published in the prestigious Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences on August 22, 2022, has revealed a massive destabilization of methane hydrates in the maximum warning phase of the Eemian period, 125,000 to 126,000 years ago. Titled, Evidence for Massive Methane Hydrate Destabilization During the Penultimate Interglacial Warming, the significance portion of the paper points to, quote, Strong evidence of methane release and oxidation, almost certainly due to massive methane hydrate destabilization during the early part of the penultimate warm episode, 126,000 to 125,000 years ago. End quote. The abstract reports, quote, We focused on the early part of the penultimate interglacial and present a hitherto undocumented and remarkably large intermediate water warming of 6.8 degrees C in response to a brief episode of meltwater-induced modest Atlantic meridional overturning circulation weakening centered at 126,000 to 125,000 years ago, end quote. Most people watching this video are familiar with the Gulf Stream, which is the surface part of the AMOC in the North Atlantic. Again, I turn to the abstract, quote, the warming of intermediate waters to 14 degrees C significantly exceeds the stability field of methane hydrates, end quote. The abstract concludes with that the warming, quote, was almost certainly the result of massive destabilization of methane hydrates. This study documents and connects a sequence of climatic events and climatic feedback processes associated with and triggered by the penultimate climate warming that can serve as a paleo analog for modern ongoing warming, end quote. Yes, it certainly, quote, can serve as a paleo analog for m modern ongoing warming, end quote. Release of abundant methane into the atmosphere happened in the past. It can happen today. Indeed, it seems such a release is already underway. Additional context is probably needed. According to a peer-reviewed paper by James Hansen and 14 other colleagues published in Earth System Dynamics on July 18, 2017, Earth is at its highest temperature since the Eemian, meaning the highest temperature with any civilization present. I can assure you that the global temperature has not cooled during the last five years. 
This paper published late last month in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences indicates the means by which methane can be released rapidly into the atmosphere, with rapid planetary heating to follow. In other words, people claiming that the so-called methane bomb cannot be triggered are incorrect. These people include, of course, Michael Mann and other people claiming to be knowledgeable about climate change. Here's a little more context. Current Siberian heating is unprecedented during the last seven millennia. This, according to a peer-reviewed paper in Nature Communications, published on August 25th, 2022, written by Rashid Hintamirov and 11 other scholars, the paper's abstract includes these lines, quote, We demonstrate that the recent anthropogenic warming interrupted a multi-millennial cooling trend. We find the industrial era warming to be unprecedented in rate and to have elevated the summer temperature to levels above those reconstructed for the past seven millennia in both 30-year mean and the frequency of extreme summers. This is undoubtedly of concern for the natural and human systems that are being impacted by climatic changes that lie outside the envelope of natural climatic variations for this region, end quote. Let me repeat that last sentence. Quote, this is undoubtedly of concern for the natural and human systems that are being impacted by climatic changes that lie outside the envelope of natural climatic variations for this region. End quote. You think? <laughs> Despite raising the issue of concern, this recent paper in Nature Communications fails to cite earlier relevant work. Specifically, an important paper published on February 10th, 2009 in the pre prestigious Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences was somehow missed by the 12 authors of this paper in Nature Communications. The paper published in February 2009, written by Susan Solomon and colleagues, is titled Irreversible Climate Change Due to Carbon Dioxide Emissions. It includes this information in the abstract. Quote, this paper shows that the climate change that takes place due to increases in carbon dioxide concentration is largely irreversible for 1,000 years after emissions stop. Following cessation of emissions, removal of atmospheric carbon dioxide decreases radiative forcing, but is largely compensated by slower loss of heat to the ocean so that atmospheric temperatures do not drop significantly for at least 1,000 years. End quote. In other words, we have known for more than a decade, based on the conservative peer-reviewed literature, that climate change is irreversible for at least the next 1,000 years. Based on recent papers in prestigious and conservative peer-reviewed journals, we know that methane can rapidly warm Earth and that it already has. We know that maintenance of civilization depends upon maintaining the relatively cool planetary temperature necessary to grow, store, and distribute grains at a large scale. We know that a reduction in industrial activity leads to rapid planetary heating. We also know that such a rapid rate of environmental change will cause Earth to lose habitat for most, for humans, and most, if not all, other life. Please remember that I am quoting the work of other scholars. And also, please remember that I am criticized for not doing my own primary research. No, really. I couldn't make up this nonsense. That's nonsense, spelled S-H-I-T. I've pointed out the cost of lies earlier in this space. I've also quoted from John Kenneth Galbraith's 1977 book, The Age of Uncertainty. Quote, People of privilege will always risk their complete destruction rather than surrender any material part of their advantage. End quote. It seems we are paying the ultimate cost for the lies told during the last century. Maybe it's been longer. Let's not stress about the details. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Click the bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified about future videos. Become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents per month. Mostly, though, thanks for watching.